Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this lovely 2023 Infiniti Q50 Century all-wheel drive that we have for sale. The Century is a new trim level for the Q50. Previously it was actually an optional package on some of the Q50s, but now Infiniti has revised things and they made the Century its own trim level. And it's a very nice trim level for that matter. Um, you have a lot of great equipment on it. It kind of, I like to call it almost like a sport appearance package because you have a lot of this exterior styling as a sport and red sport Q50. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. If you don't want the stiffer suspension of the sport and obviously a little bit higher price point, this might be a great one to consider. Infiniti has, all, has had a long uh, product cycle of the Q50. It first came out in 2014 model year and it looks like we'll probably have the Q50 all the way to 2024 till um, it gets replaced by an electric vehicle. But if you love uh, you know, analog uh, sports sedans, I like to call the Q50 kind of the, late, the last of the great analog sports cars or sports sedans. And um, you know, even though it's a older product, Infiniti has updated and improved it over the years, and it's a fantastic uh, product. And you might notice on the luxury end of things, uh, we, we have a tendency to get a little bit longer uh, life out of our products first before we restyle them. Like, you know, Honda will uh, redesign you know, vehicles like Clockwork every four years, but Lexus, Infiniti and even Acura, sometimes they'll you know stretch a product cycle on the luxury end for about eight to 10 years, sometimes before they do a major redesign, which seems to be the case of the Q50. But the Q50 has some amazing roots. It's built on the advanced from inch platform shared with the Nissan Z. You can almost call this a you know four-door luxury version of the Nissan Z. It's got the you know similar engine that you find in the brand new Z. And if we go over to Japan, uh, these aren't sold as uh, Infinities, they're actually sold as Nissan Skylines. Uh, the Nissan, uh, the Skyline is a whole range of products. They're all performance-based, and obviously at the top of the Skyline pyramid is a GTR, uh, but these are uh, really uh, known as amazing uh, performance sedans with a lot of sports car DNA. It just doesn't look sporty. It actually does have a lot of uh, sporty equipment on it that makes it fun and fast and all weather conditions, even though this might not be the full-on sport or red sport version of the Q50, it's still very fast, very fun to drive. So the Century has this beautiful perforated leather interior. We have this lovely open uh, pour wood trim. This was a feature that we didn't find on Infinities until uh, later on in the product cycle. Really nice, beautiful black piano finish. We have a dual display system. It's an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. Uh, 360 around view monitor. We have a backup collision intervention, moving object detection. The bottom screen is a tab-like interface for vehicle settings and apps. You can also see uh, some of the driver's assistance settings here. We have uh, distance control assist, which will encourage you to slow down with fast approaching traffic, a blind spot warning. We have a lane keep assist and lane departure warning. Um, we have forward emergency braking. And then uh, we have a drive mode selector here that will make changes to transmission shift points, uh, throttle sensitivity, uh, traction and stability control settings. You can also drill down a little bit deeper and personalize it yourself here. You can make changes to the engine and transmission. You can make changes to steering. Uh, active trace control helps the vehicle uh, rotate better through the corners by breaking individual wheels. You can shut that system on or off. Uh, nice leather, leather wrapped steering wheel. We have a power and heated front seats. We have a heated steering wheel. Moonroof, automatic dimming mirror, universal garage door opener. The steering wheel is power tilt telescoping. We also have a Bose studio sound system, memory seats. Really nice color combination on graphite gray, on graphite leather. Nice, comfortable uh, vehicle to drive. We have the upgraded uh, sport style wheels with the sensory. We can also see we have the uh, more aggressive front fascia. Very, uh, pretty much exactly what you see, get on the uh, Q50 uh, Sport and the Red Sport. Nice uh, blocked out grill. For an engine, we have a twin turbo V6 pumping out 300 horsepower. The Red Sport makes 400 horsepower, but I can tell you, with 300 horsepower, this is very quick. This is also a similar engine to what you find in the Nissan Z. Uh, built on the Adventure Mitchell of platform, uh, this thing is uh, definitely a true uh, sports sedan. The reason why they call it the Adventure from Mitchell platform is they take the engine and they place it as far back behind the front axle as possible so the center of gravity is towards the middle of the vehicle. Some of the sportiest Infiniti products you've seen over the last 20 years, the G35, G37, FX series, uh, QX70, M series, have all been built on the sporty Adventure, Adventure from Mitchell platform, which they also share with the Nissan Z. Even though the Q50 is considered a compact, you do have a decent amount of space. A uh, decent amount of space as well as in the trunk. Nice dual exhaust system. 
Um, and then we have an intelligent all-wheel drive, uh, more sporty DNA. So the all-wheel drive system is called a TESA, which stands for Advanced Total Traction Engineering System for All-Terrain. We've been using this all-wheel drive system in Infinity product for about 20 years. It originally uh, originated from the R32 Skyline, uh, which uh, had a many racing success in the Japanese and European Touring Car Series. And a big part was thanks to the uh, performance-based all-wheel drive system. So uh, the reason why it's a performance-based all-wheel drive system is under normal operating conditions, it will be 100% rear-wheel drive. That will give you the feel of a rear-wheel drive sports car. But as soon as those rear wheels slip in a matter of milliseconds, almost instantly it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. Uh, the Japanese engineers, when they de uh, developed this all-wheel drive system, they actually kind of copied it from the Porsche 959, which was uh, originally designed to be a Group B rally car. Uh, so uh, an uh, amazing advanced all-wheel drive system. So they kind of copied the design of that uh, all-wheel drive system from the Porsche 959, but the Japanese wanted to do one better. They wanted a 100% rear-wheel drive bias and that's exactly what you get with this Q50. It's a lot of fun to drive. It does great in all sorts of weather. I've driven these in the snow. They do fantastic in the snow as well. It'll definitely improve your wet weather performance. And in the corners with this all-wheel drive system, you can get in the power a little bit earlier in the corners versus a rear-wheel drive, and that all-wheel drive system will just pull you right through that corner. Lots of fun to drive. Built and assembled in Japan. It's a fantastic product. I absolutely love it. I've been with Infinity about 20 years. I own an Infinity product myself. I have an FX37, which actually does share some DNA built on the same adventure mission platform as this Q50. And previously I had a Q50 uh, six-speed uh, sedan, which uh, was originally the kind of like the, the version of the Red Sport back in 2005. <laughs> uh, so I'm a big fan of the products. They're fantastic. Uh, there's very few vehicles like this, you know, a Japanese made all-wheel drive 300 horsepower sports sedan. Not, uh, not that many out there. Uh, and that's why the Q50 is unique. And like I, li I like to say, one of the last of the great analog sports sedans. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.